The leaves are falling from the trees, the nights are drawing in and it's getting cooler. Yes, it's autumn. Lucky for me, I live near a great big crabapple tree and at this time of the year, what I like to do is gather in some crab apples and make my delicious spiced crab apple jelly. Mmm. Okay, now we've got enough apples. Time to go back and start cooking. So here we are back at my place. The apples have all been washed and we're gonna start cutting up the apples ready to make the uh, crab apple jelly. Um, yeah, yeah, you don't need to um, peel the apples or take the cores out. You just need to roughly chop them up. Okay, so I think that's enough apples now. To this, I'm gonna add seven cloves. I'll just count seven out. One, two, three, two, three, two, four, five, six, seven. There you go. Just add another one in for good luck. And I'm also gonna grate in a load of ginger. Finally, I'm gonna add the whole scotch bonnet pepper. Okay, now just take enough water to cover the crab apples. So right about now, we're really starting to get that lovely smell of cooking apples coming out there. It smells really great. The apples and the cloves and the ginger, it's really delicious. Great. So now you've got to mash it. This is to get all the juice and everything out of the apples because basically you boil it all up and what you want to do is you want to smash up all what's left of the apples and get as much of that juice out of the apples. So that's what I'm going to do now. Just give it a good mashing. This is just about ready. So I'm going to turn off the heat. And now what I need to do is I need to Drain all the juice out of the apples. And what I'm gonna to do to do that is I'm gonna take a colander and a piece of cloth like this. And I'm gonna start ladling the apple mixture into here. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let that go down for a bit. And after a little while, all the juice will have gone through there and I'll be able to get some more apples onto the top there, okay? Keep this above here like that and allow it to drain overnight. Right, okay, welcome back. It's now the next morning and the apple uh, pulp has now been straining overnight. And what you should have left over at the end of all this is a colander full of apple pulp like this and a bowl full of pink liquid like this. Uh, the apple pulp, you just discard. I'm gonna put this in the composter. And this pink apple liquid is what you use, okay? And using a measuring jar like this, you need to measure how much liquid you've got. So altogether, that's 1,100 milliliters of liquid, and you want 450 grams of sugar for every 500 milliliters of liquid. So now you take the sugar and you add it to the liquid. And put the hob on a high heat, and using a wooden spoon or a wooden spatula, dissolve the sugar into the liquid. So after about five minutes of heating, the sugar should be all dissolved, and you can taste it. I wonder if you can taste the chili. Ooh, and that's really nice. Ooh, you can't really taste the chili though. Oh, actually you can, yeah, it's a bit of an aftertaste, it's nice. Mm. So while you're waiting for that to come to the boil, you can amuse yourself by doing something like playing the juice harp.
Right. Now, as it gets hotter and hotter, some scum will start to develop on the top of the um, on the top of the liquid. And all you need to do is get a spoon and skim the scum. There's nothing wrong with this scum. It just doesn't look very nice. I tend to keep it in a cup and eat it. There's nothing wrong with eating a bit of scum. So now the mixture is boiling nicely. You want to turn it down a couple of notches and leave it boiling for about 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, your jelly should be a gorgeous deep red colour like this. Get yourself some sterilised jars and once it's cooled down, you're going to pour it into the jars. So there you have it, spiced crab apple jelly and it tastes delicious on toast on its own or with peanut butter, which is what I'm having now. Mm. Mmm. Bye-bye. Bye. See you next time.